This is the start of the timeline right there. My boys have already started walking it. This is the start of the geologic timeline here. Okay. 450 million years ago, 4 billion years after Earth condensed from the dust of the universe, a warm shallow sea covered this land. During this Ordovician period, the accumulated shells and skeletons of marine animals formed limestone. That along with the shale underlies much of the Ohio Valley. The Waterworks Pump Station at the right is one of the Cincinnati structures built of, the t of this limestone. Local limestone is so fossil rich that throughout the world the age of its origin called Cincinnati for the epoch that concludes the Ordovician period. This time timeline traces the history of Ohio and the earth from then to the founding of our city in 1788, Dr. Frederick Hawk. It starts off with 450 million years ago, continental drift, Cincinnati is south of the equator. 447. 446 million years ago, the trilobite, a marine arthropod, has a three lobe armored body, 0.2 to 28 inches. So every step is a million years. The tentacled cephalopod, bivalve brachiopods, and coral, like bryozoa, are among the most abundant sea animals. The brachiopod, bryozoan, and it looks like this part of the pavement is broken where they had a cephalopod. Okay. Coming up to 439 million years ago, at 438 million, the Silurian period. This is hard to make out. The color contrast is a little bit lost and some dirt's gotten into the word, so I'm going to struggle to read this. Great coral reefs flourish. Their growth restricts ocean circulation, causing widespread formation of unique salt deposits in the Great Lakes region. The first land plants appear dwelling in marshes and reproducing by sporing. The first land animals, scorpions, evolve ages later around Cincinnati. Silurian rocks are scant. Ice, water, and wind will have worn them away. Geologists will first study rocks of this period by the Welsh border. Long after the Celtic tribe, Silurs has disappeared. The Silurian period. North America and Europe began to drift together. The ocean between Laurentia, north, and Gondwanaan, Gondwana, south opens. 437 million, 436, and the pathway goes on and on and on. Here we are, 430 million years, and higher land plants evolve. 429, 426. Okay. Here we stop at 427 million years ago. They have a arthropods hunt primitive fish. Some arthropods, such as this terrestrial scorpion, are perhaps ancestors to the earliest land animals. More than 15 million years ago, a Gathens, a small jawless fish with body armor, made invade lakes and rivers. Okay, coming up to 408 million years ago, during this relatively dry time, the rich mud left along the shores of the estuaries and lakes supports simple photosynthetic plants. These grow on land, leafless and rootless, followed by the ferns, leafless shrubs and horsetails that later grow huge in the first forest. The oxygen that they produce enables animal life to leave water. Amphibians evolve from the fish and the dominant rivers called the age of fishes and the age of ferns. This period is named for the De Devon, England, where important deposits of shale, slate, and old red sandstone of the period will become studied.
Devonian period. Continents collide, buckling Earth's crust. Acadian mountains, later part part of the northern Appalachians, rise. There's the globe. 405 million, 404, 403, 402. Here I am at 400 million years. Here I am 399 million years ago. Modern fishes, sharks, and lungfish evolve. Coral forms reefs that become limestone. The falls of the Ohio at Louisville are such limestones. There's a fish in the walkway. Three hundred and ninety five. Three ninety two million years ago, flightless insects like Rhinella creep along the first forest floors. Three eighty five million years ago. Among the largest creatures of this time, Plachyoderms may exceed 30 feet. It uses paired fins to swim with eel-like movements. And you can see this kind of fish at the Cincinnati Natural History Museum. Dunkleosis. Here we are 377 million years ago. Evolving from placoderms, the early shark, Platosuck has cartilaginous skeleton, any tooth like scales. It grows one to four feet. Three hundred and seventy million years ago. Lepi, lepidendron, giant moss branches, lepidodendron, a giant moss branches to 100 feet, though it reproduces by tiny spores. Three hundred and sixty three million years ago, the three foot amphibian Ichthostega, the first land vertebrate, uses well developed limbs for walking on land but retains a fish like tail and scales. Now, this was made prior to Tetalic being discovered, otherwise, he'd have his own sidewalk patch here. Three hundred sixty million years ago. Limey mud lies in shallow seas. Teeming arthropods, bryozoan, and crinoids, corals, and mollusks. Ages after the muds have turned to rock, the exposures of this limestone in the Mississippi Valley gives the period its name and industry a building material. Indiana limestone formed in the shallow seas from, from skeletons of crinoids and other marine animals will be used locally for Hamilton County Courthouses and the downtown post office and in New York for the Empire State Building, Bureau Vista Sandstone, also of this period, will first be used in Cincinnati in 1814. Quarried 75 miles upstream, it gets ferried down the Ohio to give strength and beauty to the suspension and L&N bridges in the Mississippian period. I also believe that uh, some other buildings that have the same rock are the Alt Park and the Alt Park uh, Pavilion, the big building atop of that hill, has all types of crinoid stems, Mississippian age, in that uh, rock. Now, I'm not 100% certain of it, but that would be my guess.
Also at the Cincinnati Natural History Museum, they have a lot there too, in the front of their fountain. Continental drift continues. Line rep lines represent equator tropics and polar ice.